Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today we'll talk about ICH GCP Revision 3. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. ICH GCP Revision 3 has been officially released, marking a significant evolution in how clinical trials are conducted today. While it doesn't overhaul the fundamental principles, R3 introduces crucial refinements that reflect the dynamic landscape of clinical research, particularly since Revision 2. Since Revision 2, the clinical trial environment has undergone a dramatic transformation, witnessing a boom in electronic tools, the emergence of decentralized trials, and increased complexity in system integration. Revision 3 is designed to build upon existing knowledge and provide clear direction for future trial conduct, rather than imposing radical changes. A cornerstone of GCP Revision 3 is its intensified focus on quality by design and risk-based quality management. Although these concepts were present in earlier versions, the new guideline pushes for their deeper integration into every facet of trial execution. In practical terms, this means that risk control should be proportionate to the significance of the risk. Not every potential issue warrants the same level of effort, and not all trials necessitate identical procedures. For instance, a low-risk, non-interventional study can and should adopt lean quality processes. Conversely, high-risk or complex studies will require robust systems and rigorous controls. This also signifies a shift away from a one-size-fits-all approach encouraging tailored, fit-for-purpose methodologies. This area often presents challenges, as risk assessment can be highly subjective. Therefore, our role extends beyond simply implementing risk-based methods. It involves clearly articulating how and why they are applied. The guidance remains broad, so don't expect rigid rules. Instead, clients will look to your systematic thinking and experienced judgment to navigate these evolving requirements. ICH GCP Revision 3 places significant emphasis on data governance, recognizing the complexity of managing digital ecosystems in modern clinical trials. It raises the bar for the selection, validation, and integration of computerized systems. All systems involved in data capture, storage, transfer, and analysis, from EDC and EPRO to trial master file solutions, must now be explicitly fit for purpose, validated, and quality controlled. Critically, Interoperability is essential. Systems must be able to communicate effectively. This extends beyond just sponsors. CROs and technology partners must prioritize the end user experience for site staff, who often manage multiple platforms across different studies. The goal is to simplify the technology stack and facilitate seamless transitions between studies, minimizing the need for sites to constantly relearn new platforms. Furthermore, Revision 3 mandates a holistic approach to the entire data lifecycle, from initial capture to final analysis and archiving. All data processes must be thoroughly documented, validated, and traceable. For organizations already utilizing centralized dashboards and integrated platforms, this reinforces their current approach. However, even those with robust foundations should reassess their systems to ensure data flows are comprehensively mapped and managed. Connecting to risk-based monitoring. The principles of risk-based quality management naturally extend to risk-based monitoring. Revision 3 reinforces the use of diverse monitoring strategies, including centralized monitoring, remote oversight, and targeted on-site visits. While it doesn't introduce radical changes, it explicitly reiterates that 100% source data verification is no longer the gold standard. For organizations already employing centralized and risk-based monitoring approaches, this serves as further validation. However, it also signals to sponsors still relying on full SDV that adaptation is necessary. Revision 3 encourages smarter, more strategic oversight, emphasizing the identification of key endpoints, prioritization of critical data, and effective combination of monitoring activities. Ultimately, Revision 3 reinforces practices many in the industry have already adopted, aligning common sense and efficiency with regulatory expectations. It's crucial to ensure sponsors understand that current risk-based approaches are fully compliant with the updated guidelines. ICH GCP Revision 3 emphasizes making the informed consent process more modern, accessible, and patient-friendly. 
It encourages remote informed consent and the use of multimedia tools, for example, videos, visuals, to enhance understanding, particularly for vulnerable populations or complex protocols. This signals a move towards more inclusive and digital consent processes applicable to both decentralized and traditional trials, for example, remote co-signing or secure portal review. This shift also facilitates the use of improved educational materials, such as visual summaries or explainer videos, which can benefit patients and streamline ethics committee reviews. Revision 3 clarifies that sites are responsible for the systems they utilize, such as electronic health records, and sponsors retain the right to evaluate these systems. While the extent of sponsor oversight may vary by study and country, transparency and compatibility of data sources will become increasingly critical. New remarks in Revision 3 address task delegation. While sponsors must ensure adequate resources, there's now greater openness to delegating tasks to appropriately qualified healthcare professionals beyond the core site team, provided local regulations permit. This could enhance efficiency, though its practical application will depend on country-specific legal frameworks. Additionally, Revision 3 now formally recognizes the investigator's right to refuse sponsor-selected service providers. While potentially rare, this clause acknowledges site autonomy and is now part of the regulatory framework. So, is ICH GCP Revision 3 a game changer? Not exactly, but it is a strong reminder to modernize, simplify, and integrate our processes. Your core approach to risk-based trial execution likely doesn't need an overhaul, but your systems and documentation might. To prepare, focus on deepening your risk-based thinking, strengthening your data governance practices, ensuring system interoperability, supporting sites with simplified, validated tools, and exploring multimedia and digital consent strategies. Most importantly, remember that your clients will have questions. They'll be looking for clarity where the guidance is still vague. It's your job to provide strategic, grounded answers and to help them navigate the changes with confidence. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research.